Hey Water Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your December 21st, 2018 love reading. Um, I am doing it a little different today. Uh, I am uh, doing it by Zodiac. Sorry, I'm just seeing what messages I got here. So we will start with Cancer. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. Wow. You guys have a lot of male energy in your guys' uh, space right now. Could be uh, females, I guess, as well. But you have the King of Pentacles, the King of Fire, and the King of Water. So the only one that is missing is the King of Swords, which is sometimes, uh, to me, sometimes... When, especially when it's general, if you have three kings, uh, the one that is not here is the one that is of a part importance. But I do see it both ways for this group of you. You have a choice between uh, three people in your space or one person that embodies all of these um, energies. But um, I feel that it is three people in your space because you have a choice to make between these lovers and you're not making it just yet. Um, you're kind of... Um, emotionally unavailable at the minute. You don't know who of these three kings that you're going to pick. For some of you, the king that is the ace of swords is missing. And that one's down here. That's the one you really want to invest in. That's the one that you really want to give your heart to. And they're not there waiting for your, um, your time, your investment. So for some of you, you are w holding out for an air sign to come into back into your life. For some of you, you have all these um, people in your space and you don't know who to pick. You don't know which one of these um, will be your ideal mate. Uh, so right now, you're just kind of taking a step back. You're holding on to your emotions and not making a choice. Um, for some of you, you uh, here's your king of swords. But for some of you, you're wanting a relationship that's going to be um, an equal give and take, an equal, um, a balanced, loving relationship. And you, for some of you, you are just coming out of a divorce and you are holding on to strength. You're needing to get the strength and courage to move forward and reinvest in somebody. Um, for some of you, you are scared to start a relationship with one of these people um, you could be messaging three people at once, getting three different offers, and you're not sure who you want to invest in because you just got out of divorce or a long-term commitment that was not um, necessarily the best relationship for you. So right now, Cancer, you guys are just needing to heal, to focus on yourself, to balance out your own emotions, and to allow yourself to be replenished with that loving energy, to... Um, to focus only on yourself and re regaining that strength that you need because you've been pouring out all your cups and nobody's been there to um, bring you balance within an equal reciprocation of, uh, of energy. I do, however, feel one of these three uh, people that are making you a love offer is your soulmate, but you're very confused at the moment on who that soulmate is. You're confused and clouded because of the hurt that you have been through in the past. And you're not sure if you can face your fear and trust this person again. You're not sure if you can put your trust and faith into one person because the last person broke your heart. And that's where you're sitting at today, Cancer. So continue just to focus on yourself, to heal yourself. And the um, right person that is meant for you, the person that is supposed to be here and give you this balanced relationship is going to... Um, stick out to you very clearly very soon and the choice of who you're going to give your heart to will become very clear um, in the future i give it two to four weeks and you will clearly know who it is that you want to be with cancer all right pisces we had one flipper in there let's see what pisces is dealing with all right a lot, of, a lot of fire energy here, Aries. Okay. All right. So you are um, moving forward, um, regaining your confidence 
figuring out what it is that you truly want. Some of you are moving towards an Aries or a fire sign and finding success in that. But for a lot of you, you are finding your strength again, realizing how powerful you really are in this life because you've had to have the courage and the strength to walk away from somebody that really caused an emotional rift in your life. Somebody that really caused your tower to come crumbling down. And you are sad that you're having to walk away from this relationship that you have so much invested in. You emotionally have invested in this relationship for a long time, but you're emotionally exhausted. You're spent. You're ready to move forward. And you're in the search of your two of cups. You are moving forward on your spiritual journey in the right time, just when you're supposed to be, because you can no longer handle this deceitful energy that is centered around this tower or this relationship that brought you this tower moment. There was a lot of deceit, a lot of lies that were told to you because this person has a lot of their own inner demons with the devil here. They um, could have been chained to someone else. They were married or in a long-term commitment, and you're just finding that out. And it is really causing you to be heartbroken. You're needing to move forward away from this. This is also somebody that you could have been married to. Um, but they have to deal with their own inner demons. They have to deal with their own bound chains and um, who they're bonded to. Um, this is a soulmate energy, however, that you keep being drawn to. But you are being encouraged to let this tower fall and to move on in your spiritual journey. And once this person... Um, deals with all the situations that are toxic in their life, they will be able to come forward to you with success. And when they return to you, you will be stable, grounded, your own emperor, you're running your own empire, whether that be a company or whether it be your own house, um, just control of your life, um, really finding a spot on your throne because you are manifesting a beautiful future here. You are manifesting um, all the things that you deserve and you're no longer going to put up with this dark, uh, toxic energy because you have seen the light. See the three lights, the Trinity, um, the divine. They are now helping you create the life that you deserve and that you um, that you have worked hard to this point to create. A lot of success here. Yeah, and when you do, when you move forward, when you create that beautiful life, when you find your spot on your throne again, they are going to come back very quickly. Um, because they're scared to lose you. So they are going to cut this tie that they have to whoever else that they have brought into this relationship. And they're going to come back very quickly, very passionately and offer you um, the relationship that you've been hoping for up to this point. And that's when you're going to find even more success. So um, it's saying to you, it's time to move forward, to move on, to leave this tower energy in the past, to heal from it and to um, start to manifest what's truly yours, what you truly deserve and desire. And you're going to find success, Pisces, along that journey um, and bringing in your true soulmate, whether that be the person you're walking away from or whether it be somebody new, because I do see both situations. But um, it takes you moving forward before they can um, come in to you and offer you what you need and want. All right, Scorpios. Wow, you guys are making a decision. Um, you are no, no longer um, indecisive about what it is that you want. You want a solid um, commitment. You want a solid home, relationship, foundation that you can build your life on. Because you've had enough of this um, fun, playful, uh, going out and partying every night, uh, you know, that kind of energy. You want something serious. You want something that you can build your life on. You've got the emperor as well. You want something that is solid, something that is powerful, something that you can change the world with or someone. I'm, I mean, um, this person is keeping an eye on you from a distance. You um, could have a third party, but not necessarily. I do believe there was a third party in the past, but you're making the decision whether to give somebody a second chance or not. Um, this person wants to be with you. Um, they want to uh, create a new life with you, but... Um, but you're unsure of whether they can be serious or not. Is this a true commitment? Is this a true um, relationship? Or is this just something that's fun, a fling, you know, something to to pass the time? But they are keeping a close eye on you, however, because they do love you. They have a, a love for you that is unlike any other. And they do want to create this with you now. They realize that you are 
their uh, rock, that they are, that they need you to find the true happiness that they want as well. You could be in a separation from this person at the moment, and they're realizing that you are their ten of cups, and that they no longer want this um, wishy-washy, uh, fun, like partying all the time, going to the bars, hitting up the clubs type of energy. They want to build a family with you. They want things to be more serious. They want a life full of joy and passion and love. And they see that being with you. They love you unconditionally. And it's now your decision whether to give this person a second chance or not. Because it wasn't always like that. They didn't always want a stable foundation. They didn't always want um, a marriage or children. But they do now. And they are offering their love to you. They are offering you um, love and can, and um a commitment. So you are making a choice today, Scorpio, whether or not to give this person a second chance. But if you do, it will be a beautiful relationship um, that you can truly uh, build on because they are uh, reborn. They are they have gone through their spiritual rebirth and they are not the same person that they were in the past. Yeah. And they do want to take that leap of faith with you to create something new and to uh, start a new journey with you. So let's see what your angel cards are. Water signs, all three of you guys, beautiful readings today. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah. Cancer, it's saying this could be the one. So the partner that you already, or the person you romantically seek, you've already met. This person is already in your space. You've already been with this person in the past. Um, and they are here and wanting a commitment with you. Uh, Pisces, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Um, but also this is saying to clear your energy. You guys have some energy blocks uh, from from past energy, make sure you're clearing your space out to make room for those relationships that are um, wanting to manifest back into your life. And Scorpio, you have engagement. So the love, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. When you make that decision, whether or not to give this person a second chance, you could very well possibly be getting engaged in this Christmas season. So congratulations for that group of you. Water signs, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I will see you next time. God bless.